Hello everybody, welcome back to another round of CB Rivals. It is round 6 and it's actually gonna be potentially the final round. And if not, it's gonna be hype because it would mean that we will not be having no bitches today as the Season 3 champions. Uh, we got a hype schedule for you, every single game counts and it really does. Uh, I'm gonna tell you more about it in just a bit. Uh, but as you can see, the matches are here and the matches are as follows. First up we got EG and Gegner versus Pond Guard. Then we got no beaches for versus Argonautas potential championship match. And then we have Odin's Legion versus Yeah Buddy. If no beaches drop a single game against Argonautas, Odin's Legions, if they win, have a shot of contesting no beaches for the first spot. If Argonautas even manage to take two wins of no beaches, then even Yeah Buddy with a win can still have a shot at that first place. So really important games today, even EG versus Pondgard. If EG win, they still have a chance of staying in Feudal Division. If PG win this match today, then they have a really good chance to stay in Feudal Division. And they can even still make it to second or third place. No Beaches Argonautas, like I said, biggest game of today probably in terms of the standings. Because if No Beaches win, they lock in that first place. Then Odin's Legion and yeah, buddy, they're gonna decide whether or not they could potentially go for the first place. But if they do not then it's gonna be such a huge fight for second place as you can see it see the standings right here all teams from sixth to second are still within only three points of each other uh, why so serious has played one more game though because uh, they already have the points against apes in the pocket uh, so they only play one more match and that will be in the last round against eg so this also means for example if eg were to win they would get four points if then EG win against Wise of Sirius in the last round. EG would be tied with Wise of Sirius at the end of the season with six points potentially and be forced to play a tiebreaker match in the week after that. Now, if PG win their match, then suddenly EG could actually take out Wise of Sirius in the last round as well and have Wise of Sirius finish sixth place and that would demote any team. So sixth place is where you don't want to end up and all teams up till Yabity, yeah, so 3, 4, 5, 6, Yabity yeah, was serious, Argonaut, Spond Guard, still not safe to stay in the Feudal Division. They need any point they can get tonight. So it's gonna be hype, and as you can see in the trailer, I hope you enjoyed it. It was made by Valkyrie Squad, Kobe Crystal, um, really, really good streamer, guys. Um, so check out their stuff on YouTube as well. I'll post a link later on uh, in the chat. But the great trailer once again he's been making all the trailers and all the uh, overlays as well so special shout out to him uh, thank you so much for all that you've done already for the leak and the content has been amazing i'm quite sure everybody likes it um, he's famous for the house alpha videos uh, if you haven't watched it go check it out the documentaries are absolutely amazing best content right now i think for uh, cb rifles there's nothing like it it's it's, it's very unique like spot on um, so back to the league though, we also got Rustic Division matches going on tonight, it's their playoff time. Uh, so today's the semi-finals, we got NSFW against TBD, I'll show you here. And then we also have Nice Try against Lanfair. Uh, now any team that wins today is guaranteed to go to Feudal Division next season, but they will still be playing a final match if they win uh, in order to decide who's going to end up first or second. The losers of the semi-finals will be going to the bronze match and a third place is also guaranteed to go to that Fuel Division. So even if a team loses today in the semifinals, they still have a chance to go to Fuel Division next season, which I expect will be starting uh, around August, so in the summer. Then we also have another match and this is uh, also in Reginopolis, so this will be a best of threes over on August night, the Spanish caster. It's the only one streaming today. Uh, but we do have streams going on for us division as well. So check it out if you want to want to watch those matches in between the breaks, of course, because today's matches for Fuel are just hyped. Um, so there's also Godom's Live versus the Primes that is going on right now. And yes, I do need a haircut uh, really badly. I also just got out and it was wet when it was raining, so I didn't have time to fix my hair. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so apologies for the hair, but I got my suits already, so we should be good to go. Anyway. We're gonna get that going as well. So the Primes versus Golems Live are already on the way, as it should be. Um, and that match is gonna be good as well. Let me check it out. So here we go. Good match, good match. So Regionopolis as well, Spanish. If you can follow that as well, it would be really nice. So 
until 7 you still have some time to check out that match all right back to field vision though uh first match and gegner versus pg and i'm gonna show you the bands up first and uh, we got them right here if everything is working as planned let me check this out yep there we go game capture on all right so eg will be attacking first pawn guard will be defending we're still waiting for all the players to join i am <laughs> Again, Luis, I got you. Um, so first match, I'm gonna start the contest as well. Those who've been here before know how it works. You got 20 minutes, so that will finish at seven past five past seven is when the uh, contest will finish. You can pick your winner by placing your bets, and that will be exclamation mark bet plus. Uh, let me just get a text for you as well. Exclamation mark bet, then PG or EG plus the points that you want to bet and then you are good to go uh, let's see if we can get it on stream as well I'm sure I can and I will let's see let's see current contest window capture there we go that should be fine. Uh, yeah, looks good to me. <laughs> yeah, so Rustec will be semi-finals and actually it is kind of finals for Field Division today as well. Like I said, um, it's both the finals for basically like who gets to stay in field division and it's also finals for who gets to end up first because now if no beaches win they get it if no beaches lose or even if they tie then Otis Legion and yeah but you still have a chance at the end of the day to also still take it in round seven so honestly anything can happen <laughs> all right so back to the tavern then uh, as we wait for the players to load in so I cannot stress enough how big these games are going to be. Um, last game, probably the best game on match on paper with Odin's leading versus Yeah Buddy, currently second and third placed. Uh, yeah Buddy not being that consistent this, this season, but definitely, we definitely expect them to get the ball rolling once again. And then Odin's Legion has just been getting more consistent lately. They had a really good match against Argonautas last week. Um, very convincing win on Cork Castle, picking apart the specialist play from Argonautas. And now Beaches, of course, they were just, just that good to once again. Uh, really doing well, but then why so serious? Surprisingly taking the tie against them on Cork Castle on the attack as well. So, why so serious? On the up and go, they were really happy about their win last week. Um, they are unfortunately not playing today for them, so they can prep everything they have for Endgegner in the last round. Uh, Endgegner are going to play Pawn Guard like I said today. Uh, it's a big match for them. If they get no points today, then they are guaranteed to go back to Rustic Division. Uh, if they get points today though, and they need basically, well, they need at least one, and then they need to be lucky and win the last round if they want to stay in. Uh, they, they need at least five points that will tie them uh, potentially with either Argonautas, or Pond Guard, but again, they need to win against Pond Guard because if Pond Guard gets one point, they will be at six and then Endgegner cannot catch up anymore to them. So, big game for Endgegner, but also for Pond Guard because Pond Guard has been getting a lot of ties, as you can see. Three matches ended up in a tie for them, so they need to get a win. They have been getting all their wins on the attack, basically, and the defenses have been quite rough for them, only being able to take one. Uh, match, but that was against Apes and Apes disbanded, so 3 1 over there. <laughs> My barber died last year. Yeah, he might have actually. Oh, who knows? Who knows? I've been getting a new one. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, best coming in. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I got a bird's nest on my head, I think. But it will be fine, guys. We'll be fine. I can make it even worse if you want. <laughs> I just can. All right. Damn right, damn right. All right, so 
Uh, just because I know there's more guys coming in now, I'm actually gonna show you the trailer once again because now you probably have a chance to properly take a look at it. So here it is, Rise of the New King. there it was once again i'm just so happy so i want to keep showing it off uh we're gonna get show it off later as well um but yeah so like i said no beaches definitely favorites to take the season's win today against argonautas uh they will uh if they end up at 13 points then they're guaranteed to get the season's win or if they get 12 points then if odin's also get their win they will be sitting at 10 points today but then they can still have a game to play in around seven next week which means that Odin's can also end up with 12 points, just like No Beaches potentially. Now, if No Beaches lose their match, then they will be sitting at 11 points. And then, of course, Odin's could even go to 12 still if they win against Yabuddy and also win their last match against uh, Pongord. And then suddenly Odin's Legion could be the champion. So Argonautas could really spoil the party for No Beaches today if they are able to bounce back after their loss last week against Odin's Legion. Now, yeah, buddy, if they get a win against the Odin's Legion, they would be going to 9 points, at least getting 2nd place most likely. But then, if they also win the last round, they could be sitting at 11 points. But that, then, they might still be able to get a tiebreaker against No Beaches, but only and only if No Beaches drop the ball against Argonautas today. So, a lot of line there, but that will all be happening in our 2nd and 3rd match. First up, we got, like I said once again, EG versus, P, uh, EG versus PG. Uh, so if we go back to the lobby, you can check out the bands here. And the bands are as following. We got Yan Yao Dao Kafuri banned first by EG. We got then Zikali and Malaysia banned by PG. Then EG selected Imperial Spear Guards and then PG selected Fort of Racho. So teams will definitely be playing with those units. And then we got Falconetti Gunners banned uh, by PG as well. And then we got uh, Flamers banned by EG. So those will be the bands that are going to be used today and the map that we're playing on is White Oak Fort. Now White Oak Fort, big map, lots of room to play with, uh, also quite a bit of time and you want to get that A point going as fast as you can. Final point has been easy most of the time for teams and players to actually capture. Now if you take a look at what happened in round three, I think it was, when teams also played on uh, White Oak Fort. Then PG historically has been really good at fighting. <laughs> uh, has been really good at fighting for the uh, for the stairs. So I'm expecting good things from PG in the attack, especially with the defense. Again, they've been struggling with. Um, with the Imperial Spear Guards, maybe we'll see some kind of uh, wall defense. But again, uh, there's so many breaches here that... You would have to destroy all the cannons if you want to hold the breaches. So perhaps we'll see some sally out. We've seen sally outs uh, quite a few times on this map just to destroy the artillery from the attackers to make sure that they can only come in from one direction or have to go from on top of the walls. So plenty of interesting strategies that can be employed on, uh, on this one. Um, So we'll see what's going to happen now. EG has slowly been getting better, I think, this season. Uh, they've had a few good fights lately. Um, they are really struggling to get their points. They already got two game wins, so that's good. Uh, of course, again, against Apes. Uh, they had one point against Apes, like, 
officially and then because apes this ban and they got the other point as well uh, so they have at least been getting a single win uh, but after that it has been really hard for and Gegner for sure they've been struggling to find their shape that they once were in and, and they've also been playing kind of a different meta maybe compared to other teams playing more of the palace guards uh, another old-fashioned unit that maybe teams don't play anymore so we'll see what they have been cooking up for today <laughs> oh, let's go let's go exactly right all right so we're gonna find out um EG, like I said, slowly been getting better. Um, I definitely think so. And also their team play looks like it has been improving quite a bit. So hopefully they can, for them, they can continue that today. So let's get the players in here. Matches will also be casted on the German CB Rifles channel, so you can check it out in German if you want as well. It will be casted by Alpha Nitrat. So that's gonna be good stuff just as well. Um, I'm gonna send them a little link actually. So it'll be happening quite a bit. Do -do 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 -do. So this first game is really gonna just get us ready. <laughs> to see who will be able to stay in field elevation and then the match for uh, matches for championships is gonna start it's gonna be so good it's gonna be so good guys um, love the meme game game by the way on the twitch chat lately or the discord chat I should say uh, definitely keep it going looking forward to seeing more stuff Ooh, interesting all right war far food not playing today for PG. Toad King is in for Pondgar today. Warfarfu definitely one of the players that PG has been relying on quite a lot. Apparently he couldn't make it in the last minute. Very sad to not see him play today. So we're gonna find out what they can do without There you go, got him rolls. Oof, that's rough. Anyway, that's rough. All right, we'll see, we'll see. All right, so players joining. You can still play your bats on the team. As you can see, exclamation mark bets, then EG or uh, PG, and then the points that you want to play with. I'll be handing out some more points as well. So basically, like every 30 minutes, I'm gonna add 50 points to whoever's in chat. So just sit in chat, watch the game, enjoy it, and then you will have more points to keep betting with Definitely looks better. All right, so PG then. Uh, they've definitely been finding like more stable roster, I think. Uh, we got SKW, Shadow Scout, C4, Inclusive, Rapid Brave, Peepo, RT, of course, Pine is there, their team captain. Uh, we got IPOP, we got King of Sora, Super Bone. Like they've been playing with those guys for quite a bit now. Um, getting real good music in there as well. Uh, unfortunately not playing the coconut so I, I was really prepared to show them uh, Coco Jumbo but I guess we're not getting it today good song if you want to play the Cocos to be honest it's really good um, so before we start the match I'm gonna show you some amazing stuff as well 
so as you can see, these are the stats that we're having. Um, you can see a couple guys from Pondguard actually making it in the top 10 as well. Uh, again, EG, not doing that hot, so it's really hard to get your guys up and high there. Superbone, definitely doing well. You'll be here today as well, getting a lot of support points. Of course, Balts are definitely leading from yeah, but he's been a support star in the past season as well. I think he's already gotten it twice, the I'm helping award. Now, Glorious Death Award, this is where we can see more players from EG and PG ending up higher. There was a series definitely leading it with Fatsal. Um, this is, by the way, only round four, so round five still missing in it, unfortunately, but we'll get it eventually. The only one is Isaac from EG is also in the top 10 with a lot of deaths, uh, but IPOP and SKW a bit higher from Pondguard. In the no, in the Unit Killed Slayer Award, you can also see IPOP from uh, Bondguard getting a good score there, 360 units, and that's even with all the losses that they have, so quite good. Um, and if we take a look at the most hero kills, then you can see that even Hanzo Main still has been able to pick up quite a few kills on the pike. Not the best weapon this season, it's been falling off lately for sure. And we can see that in the weapon choices. So weapon choices, we had 70, 720 weapon choices this season. Maul, of course, biggest weapon of the of the season for sure. Almost 40% participation in any matches. We've been seeing that every single round, although it has been like getting a little less maybe lately. And then we got short sword, musket, poleaxe, and then finally pike. Pike was definitely a bit higher last season. Uh, long sword been played quite a lot. Uh, compared to what it used to be, I think, uh, one or two almost in every single team. Skimitar, of course, popular class. And then Dual Blade has been still being played, of course, uh, but Skimitar definitely got the upper hand there. Glaive, Spear, Longbow, Nadashi, and Shortbow are all just weapons that specific players may play because they're really good at it. Um, but especially Longbow is being played at the start of the game and then probably switched out for like Skimitar or Dual Blade, so it doesn't always show up in the end game stats. All right. So those are the stats. Um, gonna be hoping that some guys from the teams will be able to to get some points, but they will they are unlikely to get top three in any of these stats in the first match. But we'll definitely see that changing in our next couple matches. All right, teams almost ready. 